So we're now here at the Estoba stand together with Alan Bennett and Dave Linden from Estoba UK. The M Next actually has already been launched at Auto Mechanica. So is this the official launch for the UK? Yes, it is, Sandra. This is the official launch for the M Next range in the UK. Uh, fantastic response so far to the machine. It's got a wider washing width than any other machine on the market today at 2.5 meters. Comes in a range of washing heights. It's got unique foam brushes on it, which cost half the cost to replace. Um, and also the dryer is a lot more powerful and uses ele less electricity than any other on the market. And Alan, how has the response been so far at the show? Very positive. We've been very busy today, plenty of interest in the new range. Um, we've had confirmed orders uh, of over 60 machines since January uh, this year. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm now here with Paul Griffiths from uh, Wilkematic, who's actually the distributor for Christ in the UK. So Paul, can you tell me why your jet wash is so unique? I can. Um, our jet wash is unique because of the heating system that we've devised for this machine. I don't know whether you've seen inside a jet wash before, but it comprises of a, a control panel, a small cold water tank and a pumping system. Now the hot water was previously heated in a storage tank that was located here mm -hmm. and the water would heat up and then cool down and heat up and cool down continuously every day. So what we've devised is a system that the water is brought in to a small tank which is located in the bottom and the water is heated on demand and only, used, only heated when required thus saving so much money in electricity and water. So it's very eco-friendly actually? It's very eco-friendly and leaves a lot more storage space for chemicals. Jet washing is a big part of the forecourt sector now. You see a lot of rollovers, rollovers which are disappearing. Uh, what we've designed is a brand new jet wash which came out about 12 months ago. It's very unique in that it doesn't have a separate lance or a separate brush. What Karsha have done for the first time is combine the lance and brush into a new washing tool called the Combi Lance. It's also a buy time machine and believably or not it can operate to minus 20 and in this recent weather all our machines were operational in the sub-zero temperatures. Most machines have a separate lance for washing and a separate brush for washing. What we have done is incorporated the two together. So simply press the yellow button and watch it slide down. So you've got the full lance ability on the car and then when you've finished the rinse program you simply slide it back up and you can then apply the foam and the washing program. So I'm now here with Geoffrey Wheeler and Gary Herman at the Eurotank stand. I understand you can tell me something about uh, investigating bugs. Well, um, bugs are a big problem, uh, particularly in diesel tanks currently in the UK. So Eurotanks entered into a relationship with uh, Conidia, who are experts in uh, identifying bugs. Perhaps Jerry would like to explain. Certainly, a bit more. yeah. Um, the bug that's known as the diesel bug is actually a consortium of yeasts and fungi and Hormoconus resini. And the kit we have here today will test mm -hmm. in 10 minutes. Not only will it tell which is the predominant bug that's causing the problem, but it'll tell you the severity of that particular sample. Mm -hmm. So if we take a sample of fuel into the bottle and mix it with the buffer fluid and put a few drops in each of the paddles, this works just like a pregnancy test. It's an imnio assay test, so it tells you not only which bug is still causing the problem, but the severity of that problem. Mm -hmm. And then if the tank needs cleaning, which is why we're in a partnership with Eurotank, mm -hmm. Um, or, if it's not, a, not so severe as to need cleaning, then biociding the fuel and testing again six, seven, six or seven days later um, should be adequate. It means that the private owner can do his own testing mm -hmm. and rapidly identify whether he's got a problem and, and the contractor has some idea then about how to solve the problem mm -hmm. rather than just taking a carte blanche uh, approach to the whole thing and, and cleaning the whole tank. So um, this is a bit of a revolution this because it puts the testing in the hands of the owner of the tanks yeah. rather than the contractor. And there's no laboratory equipment or any specialist skill set required. 
So that would be my next question, actually. So he can do the testing by himself. They don't have to get another company to do the testing. No, uh, they just contact us and we'll yeah. send them a kit. They mm -hmm. do the testing and then we'll tell them what they need to do to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks.